Okay, welcome everybody. Here we are for some yoga again today. Uh, today I have my stretch strap with me. Uh, sometimes they call these a yoga stretch strap because uh, they make them specifically for yoga so that you can kind of uh, get into your stretches a little bit more intense. Um, so you could have a belt, a towel, um, something like this that's a strap, uh, whatever works for you, okay? We can set that behind us for now. Just make sure you're all ready for it. You can always pause the video, get your strap and get going, all right? So let's go ahead and start with meditation. Opening up, taking some deep breaths. So let's really work on belly breathing to begin with. And what really helps with that is your exhales. So you're gonna exhale, really feeling the belly coming in and then inhale, feeling the belly come out. So you could exhale for a little longer, about seven seconds, inhale for five seconds. Feel the belly come out as you inhale. Feel the belly come in as you exhale. And work the diaphragmatic muscle there. So as you exhale, the muscle pulls in to get the air out, the diaphragm muscle. Inhale, relaxing that muscle. And just go back and forth with your breathing. And just kind of meditate on your belly breathing, allowing your mind to let go. Taking just two more deep breaths and then we'll open up. Excellent. So let's go ahead and scoot up and we'll start with shoulder rolls and pelvic tilts. Just curving the back, opening up the chest. And then we'll go the other direction. Inhale, open up, and exhale. Good, and then we go to mountain pose, tightening the legs. Pulling the belly in a little bit, flattening out the back, pulling the arms back and down, shoulders, pulling the head back, and taking a couple breaths. Excellent. So go ahead and get your strap out. And we're going to start with uh, facing the side. You could, if it's long, you could fold it in half because you want about this distance for now. So I'm just going to hold it like this. I'm actually going to bring it to about shoulder width apart. Okay. And then we're going to come to the side. You can always grab that, that thing if it's rattling around to whatever works best. Put one leg back, stretch that hip flexor. What's nice about this is you can make the other arm go back along with 
uh, the both arms will go back together, basically, is what I'm getting at. Coming up, holding a couple deep breaths. And then back to center. We're just gonna do some circles with the arms here, just like so. Other direction. And you want a strap that doesn't have a lot of give to it. It should have, it should just be a strap, not a, not one of those stretch bands. Don't get the word stretch mixed up. Okay, one leg back, we're gonna do this one. So you don't want the stretch band to stretch, you want it to stretch you. Yoga stretching band, it's for you to stretch, not the band. Take a couple deep breaths. And relax. Coming back to center. Um, go ahead and put your right leg out. This is probably one of the best uses for this strap. So I'm going to make a little loop. Uh, if you have a belt, you can make a little loop with that too. If you have a towel, you can just uh, wrap it around your foot. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the foot, just like so. Tighten up the strap. And ideally what happens sometimes is your strap can go to the side. That'll uh, end up pulling your foot to the side. Make sure that it's nice and centered. Uh, so that your foot gets pulled straight back. So I want to cock your foot to the side. So I'm going to set it down on the ground for now. We will pull it up too. I'm going to set it down and I'm going to pull myself toward my foot. Let me scoot back a tad bit. So I'm just going to pull myself toward my foot. Keep the back straight for now. And take a couple deep breaths. It can increase your intensity a little bit more, which is nice. Good, and then I'm just gonna point, come forward again. And then we're gonna go out with it. Pick it up and then take it out. So you're kind of stretching your inner thigh a little bit. You're gonna work your arms and stuff too, that grip string. Pull it out, open it up, take a couple deep breaths. Notice I'm holding onto the chair here. A little leverage. And relax. Good, go back to having the foot down on the ground and just stretch it out some more. This is probably one of the best uses for the stretch strap. If you get anything from the lesson today, it'd be this stretch. Because a lot of times people are tight in the back of their legs and the back area. So you really want to work this, gives you a little extra intensity. Good, and then we're going to go ahead and pick that leg up. Just pull it up. We're not going to the side this time. We're just going to go straight up and just do what you can. See what you got, see how high you can take it. I like to lay back on that chair, get right up against the chair back. Hold for two breaths. Notice we're getting some good stretching on those hamstring muscles, the back of the legs. Do not let it slip and hit you in the face. And relax. All right, good deal. Let's go ahead and do the other side. We'll do this really good at the end as well. Make sure your strap's on nice and tight, on your foot, not on your, you don't want it up here where it'll slip up and hit you. Make sure it's centered as well. And then just sit forward, pulling yourself forward, keeping your back straight. Take a couple deep breaths.
if you lay down on the floor, these can be really good too. Um, take one more breath there. So then we take the leg out to the side, pulling onto that chair. So this is a great example. It's like you can lay on the floor and then take it out to the side. Um, that sort of stuff. It's kind of nice. Let gravity do the work. Pull it out this time. Take one more breath. And relax. Excellent. Good. And then just set it on the floor. You're going to pull yourself toward it. Let yourself stretch out again some more. And then pull it straight up. Make sure it doesn't hit you in the face. Take a couple breaths. So if you have troubles with this area being tight, this is a great way to take care of it. Do this every day. Excellent. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, take your band now and we're going to wrap up the legs. You can put both legs through this big hoop if, if you want to do that. But ideally, like even a belt, you know, you just need a good tight belt there. So we're going to tighten it. I'm actually going to tighten it like a belt. So I'm going to put it through my loops. If you can make it tight like that, that's great. If you can't, that's okay. So I got, now it's not going anywhere, you see. Now, this is probably one of the biggest physical therapy exercises, ones that I, one that I see all the time. Uh, it's working these hips. And so all you're going to do is just press out and hold. And while we do that, we'll do like a mountain pose. Take two deep breaths. And relax. So we'll do a little shorter hold. We're going to do one breath for each of these and we'll do about five times. So we're going to inhale, exhale. Make sure this is just tight, not going anywhere. Inhale, exhale. Tighten it up, inhale, exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale and inhale and then relax. Perfect. All right, take the band out of there and let's go ahead and stand up. We'll go ahead and use the band still. And we're going to start with, I'm going to unwrap this a little bit or make it more like it's just in half. More like it's in half. I'm gonna get my chair out of the way so I don't hit it. All I'm gonna do is uh, whirl around. Make sure your toes are slightly turned in and you can look in the direction you're going. Try different uh, spots, maybe choke up a little higher. Find the nice comfortable spot. Perfect, and then we're gonna do a triangle. So we're gonna step out with this foot. So it's 90 degrees, this foot's forward, that foot's to the side. We're gonna do a triangle like so here. Just reaching up. And so we're gonna lean down. Normally you have your hand down, we're just gonna have it up. Maybe like a bow and arrow, like you're shooting toward the sky. And then open up. And other side, we're just going to turn the feet, point the arrow, and open up. Take one more breath. 
and relax. Good, feet together about hip width apart or, or shoulder width and inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, come down. And just back and forth, working your breath. Not quite bending back, but getting a good stretch of the belly. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, relax. Two more. One more. And relax. Then we're going to do it uh, behind the back next. First, we're just going to go out and hold. So we'll do kind of like we did with our legs, and this will work the shoulders. So about shoulder width. So like your arms are straight down, maybe out just a tiny bit. And all we're going to do is press out and hold. This could be kind of like a mountain pose too. Tighten up. Make sure to not arch your back and flatten it out. And relax. Good. So we're going to do five of these. Let's exhale out this time. So here we go. Exhale. And relax. Inhale. Exhale. And relax. So it's just tension. You're not moving anywhere. And exhale. Tense the shoulders and the legs. And relax. It's good for relaxing and tensing too. Again, exhale and relax. One more time, exhale and relax. And then all you're gonna do is just move your arms up and down. About 10 of those. Halfway there. Last two. That's some shoulder work. You should really feel it all around there. Uh, it's going to continue with the shoulders, though, but we'll work the rotator cuffs. We're going to go palms up about, uh, say, hip width apart, elbows tucked in. And we're going to work this with balance. But if you're worried about holding on and balancing, you could just do the, the, the um, side to side that we're going to do, or you can just do the balance and let go of the band. All right, so here we go, one foot in front of the other, and you're going to look at the band, or you can, well, you kind of really should move side to side with your head, too. So look at the band if you are doing this, twisting the body. Think about stretching with a twist. I'm still giving a little tension here the whole time, not relaxing these rotator cuff muscles at all. Got two more each side. You should feel those shoulders activated. You can see how this band will activate the muscle in a specific area. All right, go ahead and relax there. What we're going to do is pretend like we're scooping something up, picking it up, sitting back with it though, or imagine you're just getting water here. This is our bucket. Let's do five more. Good. And then we we'll put the other foot in front and we we'll work the balance on the other side. So tighten up a little bit, elbows stay tucked in, side to side. It also makes it harder moving side to side and balancing when you tighten up these muscles, activating the muscles in a different way, making your body work. Feel those shoulders.
one more each side. And relax. Good, just kind of shake it out. And next one we're gonna do is we're gonna have the one arm back, the other arm's gonna grab the band. So this is pretty much like the back scratch test where you try to touch your fingers together. And since we can't always touch our fingers together, we have the band now. And what we can do is we can either stretch the front part right in here, or we can pull up with the other hand and stretch more uh, this part in here, okay? So let's start with the front part. Let me get in position again. It's really easy if you just put this back here first. So pulling down, tricep stretch. And just hold it there, taking a couple deep breaths. And then we're gonna pull up, pull up, bring that arm under and back, just don't hurt it. Just pull up, have a little resistance there. Take a couple deep breaths. And one more time, just pulling down. Pull down, feels nice that way. Feel that tricep stretching, pulling down behind me. Okay, let's switch sides. So it's easiest just to flip this over the back, grab on with the other hand, start with pulling down, take that elbow up. Looking pretty good. You can do this with a towel too. Great stretch for after your shower, after shower stretching. <laughs> That's what this could be, huh? After a shower, just get your towel and stretch your legs a little bit, a little bit of triceps. Go ahead and take your thing, your uh, band up now and stretch the other arm. So it doesn't feel comfortable. Let's stretch it just for a second. Take one or two breaths. And then pull it down. Let's do the other one. It's kind of nice. And last round of this, taking a couple of breaths. Excellent. So let's go ahead and set the band down. We'll come back to that. Just wanna do a few poses and then we'll have some seated band stretching again. Let's go to downward dog, stretch it all out. Walk your feet back and just take a couple deep breaths. Good, and then put your right leg forward, push into the heel so you're stretching your calf muscle, bending the front leg, coming to heart center. Just take a couple of deep breaths here too. Good, go back to downward dog, stretch it all out again. Taking two deep breaths. Good, and then put the other leg forward, pushing it into the heel, bending the front leg, coming to heart center, and just taking a couple breaths. Good. Next, we're going to do some breathing. We call this the superstar breathing. So you're going to have your toes turned out. Make yourself a star. 
give herself a good stretch and come down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Try not to lean forward too much. Try to keep your arms back like they're up against the wall. Work your breathing. I'm just showing you that I'm breathing out my mouth, but ideally you want to breathe through your nose. It's harder to see me though, showing my breath. In and out. But you can always breathe out your mouth if you prefer. I also like to breathe out my mouth a lot just because that's how karate taught me. Inhale through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do two more. Excellent, and then just bring your feet together. Stretch it all out, going to one side. And other side. And inhale, reach up. Reach up and back, take two deep breaths. Next is the tree pose. Turning the toe out, bring it up if you can. Taking two or three deep breaths. Inhale, reaching up. Take a couple more breaths again. Feel the stretch in the belly. And then we have the other side of the tree pose. One more breath. And relax, side to side with the hips. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that band. We got one more to do, but you gotta be careful on this one because you're gonna have a band in your hand and we're gonna do warrior three. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just even lean towards the chair, even though I still have a band in my hand. And uh, it doesn't matter which leg you put back because we're gonna do both. You're gonna reach out with both hands. You can have this hand touching if you need to. And try to flatten out as much as you can. Now the more important part is keeping a straight line with your body from your head to your toe. You can lean forward here or more and just hold for, we'll say two more breaths. Just keep trying. You can have the other foot touch close to the floor too. All right, let's go ahead and switch sides. <laughs> Relax for a second, take a deep breath up. Take two breaths, actually. And about shoulder width, warrior three. It might actually make your balance easier because it makes it more structured, a little more solid maybe. And relax. Good, go ahead and have a seat there. And first we're gonna to sit to the side. You can take your strap 
and wrap it over the back of your chair. Make sure it doesn't slip out and hit you. And so what we're gonna do is just use the strap to turn ourselves around. Might show you from the side a little more. Just put it around, however it works, and just pull yourself around with it. Sometimes just bringing everything in can give you more stretch. When you're out with your arms more, it's a little harder than you can cinch it all up and then turn it. And relax. Good, let's go ahead and just try the other side. And pull yourself around. Take a couple deep breaths. And relax. All right. Good. I'm going to go ahead and make my strap long so I can put it underneath my chair. <clears throat> little test here. So put it underneath the chair. Let's go. So that it's right underneath me. And then I'm going to grab one side. Kind of need to shorten up a little bit here. Oops, lost it. Shorten up. And what I'm thinking is that we can pull one side and stretch the other. And the other side, make it tight. All right, good. Now let's go ahead and return to this foot one. That's probably the biggest one to learn and probably the best thing this is uh, good for. So I'm going to make a little loop. Put it on my foot, make sure it's solid, make sure it's in the middle. And let's go ahead and just start with picking the foot up. Again, make sure it doesn't slip off and hit you in the face. Pick it up, do what you can with it. Do what feels comfortable, you know, don't go up too far if it doesn't feel good. For one more breath. And relax. Good, go ahead and let it hit the ground. And this time we're gonna relax the back. Just pulling down. I feel like I got a dog on a leash here. Pulling down, relaxing my back. All right, good job. Now what we can do is reverse it so that we put it so the other side is facing underneath the shoe. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to do a quadricep stretch. All right, so you, if you have a towel too, this can be a good one. Um, all we're gonna do is pull the foot up just slightly. You might scoot forward a little bit. And then once you pull it up, you're gonna lean back. And you'll feel that quadricep stretch. Whatever combination, it could just be pulling it up and you'll feel it. See what you can do. It could be a matter of just pulling it back and letting it be on the ground and controlling it more. Just see if you can get a stretch out of the quadricep, the front of the leg. Taking one more deep breath. All right, good. So let's go ahead and just switch feet. I'm gonna start with it as we started before with the loop on the top of my 
shoe, nicely centered, put it out. And again, we're this time we're gonna try to just pull it up as best we can. You might find one's a little bit uh, tighter than the other two. Like I said, these can be great laying down as well. Just laying on your back and putting your foot up and then putting it out, all that stuff. It's kind of nice. Oh, not just out to that side, but also this side too. We'll have to try that. Yeah, just take your foot over a little inward. It just depends on where you're tight. You might feel that. Watch out if you have hip replacements, sometimes that's not the way to go. Um, let's go ahead and turn it around now. And we're gonna go to the side and do our quadricep stretch. So it's underneath, the loop is underneath and I'm gonna turn it around and pull it up. This might not be the easiest, but try do what you can. Now, if you can grab your foot, that's the best. But that's the point of the strap is that you probably can't always grab your foot. And then there's the lean back, whatever combination that you can do. Just don't hurt yourself. I'm getting a pretty good stretch just by leaning back and lifting my foot up an inch. All right, nice job. Let's go ahead and relax on that. Uh, we're gonna just set this down and we are gonna go ahead and end with a meditation. You guys have done a great job. Now, hopefully you know how to use your straps and stuff. You can see how you can really get those hamstrings stretched out even more. Let's finish with a nice little meditation here. Oh, taking some deep breaths in. So return to the belly breathing. That we started with and just kind of meditate on your breath. Exhale, feel the belly come in. Inhale, feel the belly come out. Just imagine you're giving yourself a massage on the inside with your breath. Taking two more nice deep breaths and then we'll close up. Okay, open your eyes, come into heart center. Inhale, reaching up and exhale. Deep breath in and exhale. Namaste. Thanks once again, everybody for joining me. Keep doing your stretch strap, hamstring stretches and I bet you'll gain some flexibility.